anything as possible. You got to make sure you have all the rollers in place because if you don't, I have room to squeeze one more. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, as you guys just saw, I have an MP231J Planetary, an MP231C Planetary. One's a four gear, one's a three gear. What we're gonna do is take them apart and we're gonna build a six gear planetary. So what we got right here, this is the Jeep MP231 Planetary. It only has the three gears. The Chevy, which has the inch and a quarter chain, has a four gear planetary, two right there and then two on the opposite side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart the MP231 from the Jeep, press out two of the planetary gears, reinstall them in this one, and weld them in place. To take apart the planetary is actually really simple. What you see right there is a little snap ring, and you just get a screwdriver, or pick or something, and you'll pry it away. It's right there. That way I get a good grip on it, and then slide that ring out. Sun gear is going to pull out. This is kind of like, I'm going to say almost like a, like a bearing almost, essentially. We're not going to need those anymore, so I'm just going to pull those out. And then we're left with this. And as you can see, it's held in place because they punch the pins. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the press with this bolt. I want to push it down just enough, then get to the other side or whatever. And then enough that I could grind it off and then push it through. But when you remove the planets... It's full of roller bearings in there, so you got to be careful because they're going to fall out. And you also got to pay attention that there's little, I believe they're brass spacers up top. You got to get those too, so let's get the press set up. So easy to pull it up. So as you can see... I'm gonna grind those little knobs off and then we're gonna push the pins through the other side. I'm gonna use this little two inch grinder here. Just gonna use a file now. Make sure any burrs. There's not much tension there, that's why I got my my hand on there. I'm just got my hand underneath now to catch that pin. Cause it's about to come out. There. Comes the fun part. I'm gonna put my finger under it. It's got all the roller bearings. And if you don't do that, it's going to explode. This is the part where your patients are going to get tested to the max. So what you got inside each planet gear, this sits on the outside and you get that little washer, roller bearings, washer, roller bearings, washer, and then this. So the 231J had three planet gears, so I could sacrifice one. What I'm going to do is that these two right here, I beveled the end. To help guide it easier than this one right here I'm gonna cut to the same size so as I feel the rollers I could put this inside as a spacer slide it inside 
and then press it in. Now I'm actually debating if I should leave the sun gear in there when I press it or take it out. So this is the pin I made. It's gonna fit. I'll just show you in there nicely. So I can feed the rollers in, have that hold it in place. And like I said earlier, I also round it off a little bit because when you punch it, you deform it. That way I could slide it in. This end here, the tolerances are a little bit smaller, so it gets stuck, which is good because we're gonna press it through and then tack weld it into place. I got some grease here. I'm not gonna do too much filming with this because you're gonna have to find your own way and how to feed them into here, which I'm gonna do right now. Got my gear. I'm gonna use my finger. Loaded full of grease. Start putting pins on the bottom. Create a little cushion. It's hard when you're not looking directly at it and you're trying to film it. Just keep feeding the rollers in. One more, two more, one more. Need to get one more in there. Does it look like I got enough in there? It looks like it. I could get one more in there maybe. Can I squeeze one more? Can I? Can I get one more in there? Come on. I did. And I can get one more in there too. It looks like I got them. The other two, put them on, got them. These two things, got them. Drop it in here. Make sure I can spin it. Line up the gear. Got it. Of course, before you press it, make sure it's gonna spin freely. Now to start pressing her. All right, so I got a Bessie clamp on there. And now, try this again. My other pin is already starting to come through the bottom, which is good. A little bit of resistance, and it looks like that should just flush down. Just one little tap more. I think we're good there. Pressed into place right now. It's this one here because it's offset. I think I might just do the same as over here. Is just get a punch and punch it in. That might be the best option. I was gonna weld it, but if I ever have to do any maintenance, I think punching it is the way to go. I'm gonna see or not, but take this chisel. Flip it around to the other side. And there we have it. Six gear planetary. All built. All right, that was pretty simple, eh? I'm gonna end the video there. Like I said before earlier in the video, 
six gear planetary can handle a lot more torque than your stock three gear planetary will. So if you have accessibility to another planetary or another transfer case where you can salvage parts, if you have a press, follow along the steps I do, you'll be able to build one. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. I want to thank you for watching. And if you've watched this video, and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe because we're doing an LS swap right now currently. And then after this, I'm hoping to get into a Cummins 4B TJK build. So I want to talk to you guys and see you guys in these upcoming videos. I'll talk to you later.